Hello? Hello? Hey, hey, spooky pretties. Welcome back to my Wednesday Scream collection series. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never miss my Wednesday weekly drop. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my current giveaway going on of the exclusive backpack from Spencer's. You can find all the entry details below in my description box. You can enter on YouTube and on my Instagram and details for both are below. Today I've got a lot of fun items to go over with you guys and I'm especially excited about one of them because it completes a set that I've been trying to complete for a while. But first, as you know, let's go over today's shirt. This shirt is an oldie, but a goodie. I've had it since I believe 2015 and it is by the company Cavity Colors. I remember that I got it in 2015 because I remember wearing it at Texas Frightmare 2015 when I met Nev Campbell and Skeet Ulrich for the first time. It also happened to be Nev's very first convention appearance ever. So it was a very special weekend and I wore this on the first day of the convention. So as I mentioned, it's by Cavity Colors. Simple, I scream, ice cream. <laughs> Ghost face is a little ice cream bar with a bite taken out and some blood dripping out. I love it. It's adorable, it's cute, it's got sprinkles, and it's got ghost face. All my favorite things. So if you're interested in cavity colors, check them out below at the link. I do not believe they have this shirt for sale anymore, but don't quote me on that. Check it out for yourself and see what they have. All right, so I am going to show you the item that completes a set. You have already seen the other items in this set here on my YouTube, but I will show them all again just for reference. This is the item in question that I am talking about. Sadly, this price tag is right where the mouth is. Maybe I'll consider peeling it off. But I finally have the last piece to complete my party supplies set. As you guys remember, originally I showed you cups, invitations, and a tablecloth of this set. Well, this is the seven inch plates that go with that set. So let's take a closer look. Same design as the other items in the set. Ghost face with the little red eyes, some flames in the background and a purple trim. It says ghost face on the back, eight plates, seven inch. Part of the trademark has been ripped off on the back, but that's what the back looks like. This originally sold for $3.20. Maybe they were marked down at the time, but that's a good price, I would say. So I am so happy to have snagged this. I found it on eBay, couldn't pass it up. And as a little reference, these are the cups that go with it and the invitations and the tablecloth. All very awesome especially if you want to host your own ghost face party. But you know me, I like to keep it in the plastic. I wish they had these plates in bigger, like nine or 10 inch, but these are more like dessert plates, but I'm cool with it and I'm so happy to have it all together. The next item I want to discuss is a fun one that everyone seems to get super excited about and want to know where it came from. This is a ghost face cheeky mug. Yes, by Geeky Tiki's. What a company name, I love it. He is so shiny, made out of like glass ceramic. It's got the regular Ghostface logo here at the top. For some reason it's telling you 17 and up. Okay, got a cool Tiki design of Ghostface here on the side, love it. Same on the other side, Ghostface all around the edges. And here on the back, it talks about how it is dishwasher and microwave safe, which is pretty impressive in my opinion. Not all style of these glasses are, it says it right there. We've got ghost face down here again, and the icon of Halloween logo licensed by Fun World down here. 
you can check out the website where they sell these at www.geekytikis.com. I also believe they had these at FYE, and that's where I got mine. I have several Geeky Tikis. I have the entire Guardians of the Galaxy set that they came out with, including the exclusive Yondu that was hard to find. And I also have Jason Voorhees in a Geeky Tiki because he is absolutely adorable. I will feature him in a video once my entire basement is renovated and everything is unpacked and in place. But for now, you can see Ghostface. But yes, everybody gets super excited when they see this in my collection and want to know where I got it. They should still be online available somewhere. Check FYE, check geekytikis.com, and check eBay. Maybe even Amazon. Try it all, guys. The next item I am featuring today is the Scream and Scream 2 original film score soundtracks on vinyl. And the reason I wanted to show this today is because ever since I uploaded my soundtracks video, everybody's been asking if I own this. And yes, I own this. And not only do I own it, I own two. One so I can listen to and one that I can keep in plastic because I'm quite great. They actually had several variants of these. Maybe not several, but a couple. This, both of these are the bone white variant, which I'm about to show you what that is. So the actual vinyl itself, the actual record, is what they call bone white. White as white can be. It's hard to see, but it actually has like a tie-dye effect into the white, which actually I think you can pick up on a, a little bit. But there's Casey hanging with her guts out. Kind of gruesome, but I love it. It's very cool. It's side one, which was Scream. This came out in 2016. And then they had side two with a dim print image for Scream 2. It's like the dial on a dial phone, kind of. I think that's what that's supposed to be. Or like the holes on a phone back then with some blood on them. So the other variants they had outside of the bone white, they had a red variant and I believe just a regular black record as well. So I think there were three variants altogether. So the back of this looks like this. There's images from Scream and Scream 2 on here, along with all the song titles of the soundtrack of the film score. So for side one, there's five songs, and for side two, there's nine. And all music is composed and conducted by Marco Beltrami, as most of you know. It's got more information here, it takes a closer look. And down at the bottom, it's got the cast and crew, like most movie posters do, and a nice red font. So take one last look before I put this away. And here, if you wanted to take a closer look, is my one wrapped in plastic. But before I put it all away, I wanted to show you that Ghostface has a little blood here. And I love the design that he's got a phone in his mouth. I think that's really creative and cool. And I love that the house is featured down here. And Ghostface is getting it with his Buck 120. So yes, I have the vinyl, guys. Your question has been answered. And last but not least, I kind of quickly pointed this out in my last video, so I thought it was only fitting if I talked about it here today. This usually hangs on the back of the front door of my Scream collection room, but I have taken it down to show you guys today. This is a wall and door plaque with that special purpley fun world tag that you know I love from back in the 90s. There was two versions of this. I only have this version and I'm on the hunt for the other version. I would prefer to have it tagged. I've seen a few untagged that I have not bought, but I want it tagged because this one's tagged. But this is the black light version is what I would call it. But they also have a glow in the dark version that has this black edge around it. But then the ghost face is just like a white, off white color. You know that color I'm talking about that usually happens when it's glow in the dark. Yeah, that color. But this one is the black light, so when you light it up, it glows like purple and blue and fluorescent. So it's very, very cool against a black light. I've got it tagged up here, as I mentioned. And right there it says black light makes it glow, and it sure does. It's very vibrant and very cool. We have As Seen in the Motion Picture Scream up here, wall and door plaque here. 
and underneath it says, a weird way to make your home and party come alive. An eerie creature trying to break through any wall or door. A great decorating idea, use indoors or outdoors. So this can be displayed outdoors, guys. And it's a 3D effect. It's huge, it's not flat. It's three dimensional. Very cool. And this one is in fantastic shape. I was really lucky to find this bad boy. I love him so much, he's so pretty. I really prefer this one over the glow in the dark one. So if I do find the glow in the dark one, yay. But if I don't, I'm really kind of obsessed with this one. I think it's better, but still would like to get the other one just to complete the set. And here's the back side, which honestly I don't think I've ever looked at. And sorry if I got excited there, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of creepy. It looks like it's going this way, but it's actually going inwards. But you guys see that? Like if you kind of stare at it long enough, it looks like it's jutting out at us, kind of like this is, but it's not. I'm a dork, sorry. There's the back, if anybody wanna see. Oh yeah, it's so cool. But yes, those pinkies and purples and blues really catch my eye. And that's why I prefer this over the glow in the dark, but I won't say no to one. Hit me up if you know where one's at, preferably tagged. Mm. So there you have it. I can't even remember where I got this. If I got this on eBay, I'm surprised it came in this good of condition because I feel like in the mail it would get crushed. So I don't think I got it on eBay, but I'm not saying I didn't. I'm just saying I'm getting old and I'm forgetting where I'm getting this shit. So I apologize. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Catch me back here on Wednesday as always. Check out all my links below that I talked about, including the giveaway that's going on. And you remember to keep it weird and make it Meggy. Ta-ta.